One thing I expect from an elected politician is to do what they're going to say they're going to do when they're elected, and we know that they seldom do. It's just yeah, 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 anything to get into power. But there's one thing that's obvious, it's a bear pit. It really is an absolute charade of a place to operate. There's name calling, bullying, trying to make the other side look as bad as possible by any means necessary. It's almost like a full-on war in some cases. And every now and again a story pops up where people second guess whether they can hack it or not because of the experiences that they have. And they say, do I need to get out of here? Well, somebody is asking that question right now. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for a Sunday night. Hope you're doing alright, I'm not too bad, all cosy in, uh, indoors. Well, we have a little problem with a local MP, she's in Canterbury, uh, a young lefty by the name of Rosie Duffield. Uh, just in case you don't know who she is, here she is. Now as I said, she's very local to me. I was in Canterbury this evening actually took me about half an hour to get there from my house and Rosie over the past well good few years really has been subjected to a lot of online what she calls crap to do with her private life her personal relationships and everything else and she's come out of a few comments over time that don't sit well with the far left agenda on her side of the house such as only ladies have a cervix well she's had just about enough of it and she's actually considering her position within the Labour Party. She says the Speaker's been great, the parliamentary security team have been great, even Kent Police have been great, but her own party have given her no support whatsoever. Just the opposite. But, uh, I, mean, I mean, if it was me, I would get out. When you start creaking and cracking under the pressure like that, it's obvious that it's taking a toll up here. It really is. And that place is never going to change. I, I dipped my toe in the water a little bit a few years ago and it quickly became apparent to me what a toxic, hostile atmosphere it really is. And you have to make the decision at the end of the day, do I want a part of this or do I get out while I still can, while I'm still sane? Only she can decide. But uh, I would, if I were you, girl, I'd uh, walk away from it all. But that's your choice. Anyway, I'm off. Toodaloo.